This person is asking, what do you think of Andrew Tate converting to Islam? I see that a lot of Muslim women dislike Tate. There's actually a war right now happening between a lot of um, English, I don't know about other Muslims, but English speaking Muslim men, Muslim men and Muslim women are at war with each other over this. So Muslim men are celebrating this and Muslim women are hating on this. And, you know, they're Muslim men. And I, I know there's exceptions, but like there seems to be somewhat of a divide. Actually, there's a Daniel Hagaju who posted a meme about this. I will bring oh, it up. But you, tell me he, what you think. I definitely want to know uh, Daniel's thoughts on this for sure. But yeah, I mean, honestly, what you just said, I think, is just another instance of uh, Muslim women leading the way in the Islamic world and standing up and and pushing back against the nonsense and the garbage. This isn't the first time we've seen this and it won't be the last. Um, but yeah, when I when I heard that when I when I saw this question, I was like, gosh, I have no idea what what could Muslim women or or any women or or just anybody that's not an outright misogynist, what what would they have to find a problem with Andrew Tate's rhetoric? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but look at this. This is guys, this is not us making fun of Muslim women. This is Muslim men making memes about Muslim women. This is like an internal war right now between the battle wow. of the sexes right now. It's amazing. You you know, I think when I heard um when I heard that that uh, uh Mr. Taint, uh I'm sorry, Tate uh was uh converting to islam the first thought that i had was that clearly he was only doing this with a a deep knowledge and understanding of the history and the theology you know i i i am confident that he spent lots of time at at the schools the various schools studying from from the greatest of scholars armin i mean do you, do you would you second that do you do you also believe that yes of course <laughs> i mean you're not you're not suggesting that these dawa boys are hypocrites no and when we leave islam they ask us to be completely educated about it no. somebody becomes a muslim and somebody becomes a muslim they don't have the same standard i hope you're not suggesting that that's a major accusation I, I, you know, we are here to ask questions and give answers, Armin. And, you know, sometimes we give answers and sometimes we ask questions. And and this did, is one of those question moments. <laughs> wait, did you see the, his reason for... No, did he actually he, say what his reason was? Yeah. Oh, he, my God. Well, actually, it's pretty... Like, let me show you. Let me show you. I hope, right I, hope I can find it fast. Nope, it's not here. Maybe if I do a Google image search... For the post because it's pretty ridiculous oh there we go oh i found it okay it's amazing because actually a lot of muslims when they were covering uh why he became a muslim they uh, they showed this post mm. but they cut the lower part because oh. even because even muslims recognize that his reasoning for converting to islam is absolutely ridiculous. Even Muslims recognize that. Mm -hmm. Okay, few people left the bottom part on. Like Daniel Hayraju really believes in the bottom part, but most people that I was looking at, they cut the bottom part. <laughs> so here. So this, <laughs> so this is why I'm Muslim. Any Christian who believes in good and understands the true battle against evil must convert. And there is a Quranic verse, so be patient indeed, this promise of Allah is truth. So if you cut this image out, if this actually doesn't make any sense, you have to include the image. But a lot of people remove the image. And I'm like, wait, what are you referring to? Mm. So he's like basically saying Christian, he's talking about Christians being trans. Mm -hmm. And he's just saying that Christianity is not standing up to what's right. Mm. Okay, mm. so this is so basically saying I'm so transphobic that Islam is the only religion for me, <laughs> the only religion that speaks to my transphobia. <laughs> cool story, cool story, Andrew. Really, oh really appreciate, really appreciate yeah. that. You know, man, what a what a jackass you would have to be to be like, hey, I'm actually just gonna like 
completely adopt another like worldview and set of beliefs mainly because i would like to be more bigoted towards people <laughs> like <laughs> just yeah how <laughs> Yeah, Varun gave us another two dollar super chat. Thank you, Varun, saying Islam only religion acceptable to Andrew. Yeah, I can see why. <laughs> I thought it was the, honestly, I thought it was the misogyny, but apparently it's all. It's, I would that's what I would have guessed because, but apparently it's a trans. It's not the misogyny; it's the transphobia. My God. Well, at least at least nobody can can ever uh, criticize him for not being at least a little nuanced, right? It's not. It's not. You know, he 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 specifically has his hatred towards trans people, not not just women, not 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 just, you know, um, anybody that's feminine in any way whatsoever, but trans people specifically. Thank goodness Andrew Tate is out there giving us his really nuanced and brilliant fucking takes. Right. I mean, oh, my but God. <laughs> But what do you think about the fact that so many channels that were like, oh, my God, he's a Muslim now, and this is why they cut this image out, and this is oh, this is the only I, part that they show? I think this is I think this is something that would. Um, so there's there's a branch of um, uh, a, a Protestant Baptist um, in the United States. They're, they're fairly small, but the new independent fundamental Baptists are just hardcore bigots they're like super super hateful homophobic transphobic massage i mean you name it all the all the all the bigoted stuff you can wrap up together i think i think if somebody converted to like that branch right and felt those strong opinions and and posted out a tweet like this i think there would be a lot of christian groups that did something similar where they would take the first part and they would say, yeah, 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 that's good. That's our message. And then just kind of push the other part under the rug and try and be like, no, we've never had a problem with gay people. Like, no, it's totally fine. Like, we love women. Women are great. They make our babies. I mean, they, they, they are, they're valuable people. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think this is something that we're seeing across the board with religions. Everybody wants to kind of soften their image just a little bit because they, you know, are recognizing that you can't hide your bigotry as much anymore. And when you're just hateful, like people don't want to come to your sermons. So Yeah. By the way, if anybody thinks the reason why they hide this is because they can't show a picture of a woman, they actually don't have any problem with this because they don't consider this person to be right. a woman. Right. So this would not be un Islamic to show this, right? Mm -hmm. Um like some people like, you know, more conservative uh, channels who do consider this to be a good reason to convert to Islam have shown this, right? Um, but I don't know I think a lot of people will be mad. It's like even if you're happy about it, like this is like really like Islam. You're mm -hmm. supposed to convert to Islam is because it's a great religion and it's beautiful and it's and true. The Quran, yeah, and it's mm -hmm. true, but not like this. Like this mm -hmm. is like really like I don't know. Um, yeah, and that's <clears> why. That's why what matters to me so much so <laughs> freaking much in these discussions is critical thinking so, and how yeah. we get to the d decisions that we accept right so it's awesome somebody somebody comes out tomorrow and says hey i don't i don't believe in that fundamental theological crap anymore that's great but if they turn around and tell me the reason is because you know i spilled hot coffee on my lap three days in a row it's like well that's not a good reason <laughs> That's actually a good point because this is the kind of reasoning that Muslims make would make fun of if you use yep. it to leave Islam, right? Yep. They keep like, oh, you guys didn't leave Islam because of any logical arguments. Nope. You just hated um, having to abide by rules or you didn't want to live a proper life or you just love sinning. It was all emotional, right? But then when somebody has like a not you know, logical argument, but just like, ah, I just don't like this. This feel doesn't feel right. And they converse to Islam. Yeah, but such hypocrites. Such mm -hmm. hypocrites. Like it's mm -hmm. so so disgusting. And they have zero self awareness about what they look like when they Man. when they do stuff like this. Yeah. Get my best selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.